Dire team back. Hello everybody, Wisdom Starcraft here, bringing you the second game of the Star Ladder Season 10 series uh, between Evil Geniuses and Team Secret. This is the Grand Finals. Whoever wins this, winner takes all. Um, I'm sure you probably, if you're watching this replay, you probably already know who won, but remaining. you might have even, you most likely have even seen all the final games too. And, uh, of course, already uploaded and stuff like that Dire on other YouTube back. channels, but um, if you haven't, kick back and enjoy. Or just rewatch them, because honestly, like, there's they're, they're some pretty good games. I actually did watch these ones live, but I don't remember them. Um, starting right out of the gate, uh, for bands for Secret, uh, Jakiro. Uh, Evil Genius was just wrecking with Jakiro. So I think that's a pretty smart move. Just fuck it. Just ban Jakiro right out of the gate, man. Like... Don't don't let evil geniuses get it. <laughs> Dire team pick. That's evil genius is gonna be out the wisp and now the elder titan. Um, yeah, elder titan just uh, working so well, getting rid of all that armor, all that magic resistance. Could just be paired so well with um other heroes. Razor ban. It's another kind of like remaining. popular like EG hero, so not big surprises here. Evil geniuses it's currently 3 a.m. <sighs> I don't know how long this game's gonna be, but kind of prepared here. I got some Cheetos, I got some orange juice, and Dire team pick. So it looks like it's gonna be a brew pick for Team Secret for the first pick. Okay, brew's a very solid hero. Pretty, I think he has a really pretty decent win rate at the moment. I want to say it's like close to sixty percent, so that's pretty good. Um, that's gonna give him some good uh, team fight potential. Most likely gonna be a middle brewmaster, I'd assume. Uh, we'll see what they decide to do with it though. And then on Evil Genius' side, you got a Tide Hunter and a Skyrath Mage. Skyrath, um. Obvious counter to Brew. I'm a little surprised. Reserve. I mean, they wanted to ban out the Razor, I guess, but I'm a little surprised if they plan on picking a Brew first. They wanted to ban out the Skyrath. Um, I don't know. That's that's just my my thought. But I mean, you can always just have someone build an Orchard too. So there's always that. Like, you can't, like you're gonna ban out like uh, Nature's Prophet or something like that. You know what I mean? Because Nature's Prophet could always just build like an Orchid. Or any or uh, anyone that can get like decent farm, but um, either way though, Skyrath is definitely gonna be a nice pickup versus the Brew. It is an all all around great support to have, um, and it'll it'll uh, combo very well with the Tide Hunter too. Uh, it's gonna add some great team fight to e EG's lineup. Reserve time. Alright, that's another solid pick, man. Uh, both teams shaping up to have some really good team fight potential. And, by the way, if there's like a really long pause, it's not because I got nothing to say or anything, it's just because Ten seconds I'm eating some Cheetos. Although, Anthony, if you're watching this one, um, they are the puffy remaining. kind, just so you know. I prefer the puffy kind. Evil geniuses turn to ban. Okay, too busy stuffing myself with uh, some Cheetos, but uh, I want to say I'm very glad Ten they banned that lichen, remaining. man. I fucking, like, just please, 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 just ban out the lichen. Five seconds remaining. I just, I don't know why people stop banning this out, like, um... Like, I don't know why he's not, like, a first band. He's, he's still so strong. I mean, he went that... S it's, not, it's not even really a nerf to his ultimate. No 1.5 second cast time, and I talked about this in the last cast. Like, it's, um... I, I admit, I actually died one time from it in a game. Like, Ten but... Seconds remaining. Like, it's, it's not really a nerf, though, because... He has, uh... Seconds what is it, 650 mo max movement speed now? Like, when he's in ultimate form? So I mean, it, you know, it, yeah, it's got the trans the transform time, but 
overall, I mean, he's even fucking scarier than he was before. It does, however, make him a little bit easier to gank, though. I will admit that. Candace Alton, charge away now. Desi dropped that little extra second. Let's the other team set something up, so. There's that. Abaddon ban out. Um, I think it's just been a pretty popular EG support as of late, but I don't I, f I don't think it like, synergizes particularly well with these heroes. Or it could also be they could they're probably being them out for uh, something that they plan on picking, perhaps. Ten My best guess. Remaining. And anti mage ban. I don't know. Anti mage definitely good Five versus this lineup. Uh, anti mage is making kind of a comeback though too, so that's really cool. Um, <laughs> I was so sick of seeing like anti mage and like morphling back and like oh man like TI two, uh, but now like they've been gone for so long. I'm actually kind of glad to see him come back. I don't know how long that'll last though. If they start getting picked like every game like anti mage and morphling, anti mage is kind of like uh, almost kind of like in the old, like the like old Dota one days where you have only one core hero, like one like one carry, which is, I mean, still kind of happens in games, but like one carry and he gets all the farm, you know what I mean? And he's, just, he, you have one pick. one crazy carry, he just rapes everything. Like, focus everything on that. Now, a lot of teams usually have like more than one core, like you see like you got Morphling, Brew, but even ES is going to need a dagger, he's going to need some space. Uh, but yeah, picking up a Morphling, alright man. Like I said, I'm uh, kind of glad to see Morphling back. He's pretty much just as powerful, I think, as he was at, uh, in the TI2 days. Uh, maybe a little more. I feel like he's even gotten some more buffs since Five then. Uh, he was nerfed to death after TI2. Or was it mid-TI2? I think it was after, like right after. Time. Which I was glad. Like, I, I I was furious at that hero. I was like, God damn it, man. Morphling. You can't, can't gank him. He does so much damage. Ridiculous split pusher. Ridiculous farmer. Like... But uh, I want to talk about the anti mage again for a second. Um, obviously a very good carry. Um, the thing is, you gotta get the battle fury. He's, he's kind of a greedy carry though, because you gotta get the battle fury around like 15 minutes or so. Like he's not anti mage isn't ready to team fight until he has like battle fury and the manta. So you're gonna have to delay the game to around like 20 minutes or so, at least. Um, if an anti-mage can get his shit at like 20 or 25 minutes between that time, then that that's decent time. But until then, like he's he's really squishy. He's he's Why really uh, he's not that good in, in the in the fights because he just dies too easily. But uh, anti-mage does have one advantage over some other heroes, which is that he can farm a lot faster than them once he does get his battle fury. Just blinking all over the place, split pushing. He's a real bastard to kill too. With the you know, Blink's really one of the most best, one of the best abilities in the game. Uh, but I'm kind of getting sidetracked here, talking about a hero that, 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 that they just banned out. So, uh, Number Spirit, uh, fantastic. They need some right click damage on their team, and I think this will do really well. Uh, paired with like the Tide Hunter stuff like that. Ten yeah, I think it'll allow them for some uh, Five seconds some remaining. good like wave clear, kind of like slower sieging. This way you don't have to just charge it with the ramp, stuff like that. So, I think that's a solid pick. Uh, I'd also do well versus the Brew mid, or it could be the Morphling mid. Uh, could even be the Doom, but I don't expect a Doom. I want to say Doom probably be like safe, or maybe jungle. We will see. I'm kind of curious to see what the ban from EG is going to be here. I would expect them to ban some sort of support hero. Uh... And the Venge ban. Alrighty. I worked really well in the last game, so. That's <laughs> what ban it out. Ten seconds remaining. Also, that Venge or with the Morphling. Five Not really with something you want to have to face. So. Geniuses turn to pick. 
and the Faceless Void Band. All right. Yeah, definitely a pretty, uh, I'd say kind of an obvious band. Uh, they're in need of some kind of hard carry. Or they could decide to get another huge AoE guy like Tidehunter or something like that. Or some kind of split push uh, hero. We'll see what they decide to do, but I'm thinking it's going to be some kind of hard carry. And uh, Void would just would have been a, a great hero, honestly. You know, obviously paired with like the Tidehunter. Huge team fight potential. Remaining. And more specifically paired with the Skywrath with the uh, Mystic Flare combo. I mean... Chain, even Chain Frost, if you can catch a couple of heroes in there. The possibilities are endless, man. One of the most obvious combos is Skywrath and Void, so. A uh, great ban out, really. Ten seconds remaining. It would also allow them to push Five a little bit earlier. Um, before Morphling is actually, like, kind of comes online. Dire and gets this impossible to deal with. Yeah, so gonna get another kind of uh, more kind of like a mid-game type carry, you know. So I expect them to to try to end this game probably around between 30 and 40 minutes. I don't think they want it to go too far past that with the more thing on their team and an Enigma Enigma pick for the last one. Uh, so yeah, so really some good team uh, fight potential on both sides here. Uh, I'm gonna give the uh, late game to Secret here though because of the Morphling, of course. But I really can't count out EG with the Ember Spirit and the Slark. Uh, Ember Spirit does do a lot of damage in the late game if you get the right items. Uh, like, you know, Battle Fury, Daedalus, stuff like that. Possibly even Divine if it goes late enough. But yeah, I think the Slark is a great pick, though. So I'm guessing the Enigma is going to go into the jungle. I don't see why you'd put a Doom in a jungle when you have an Enigma, so... Uh, it's probably going to be Enigma jungle. Remaining. I'm going to guess Earthshaker and Five Morphling. And probably Doom in the offlane and Brew middle. Uh, I'll see if my predictions are right here. <laughs> and we'll open up this last hit then I just tab ASAP so I don't fucking forget. Uh, I'm not sure these teams really need an introduction, but... I want to introduce the players anyway, so over here you got Big Daddy No Tail here on the Earth Shaker, S4 on the Panda Brewmaster, uh, Fly aka Simba here on the Doombringer, and Puppy on the Enigma, and in for you Kuro, Kuroki on the Morphling. And currently all five heroes in the top lane here headed into the jungle. Will we see an early game clash? I don't know. But it's going to be EG, RTZ, a lot of Zs <laughs> on the Ember. Um, shit, I had to put this on hold. We got Zai on the Skywrath. We got PPD on the Lich. Oh man, this is not looking good. This is looking like a brawl. Mexican showdown. Is that racist? I don't know. But either way, the clap's going to be coming out. A nice fissure. Uh, going to be laying the stun down. And going to die to the right clicks, man. <laughs> Not good. Uh, pushing a little bit too far forward. That's going to give a nice little early game advantage there to Secret. Uh, definitely kind of start you have when you have a, a hero like Morphling. So. I forgot where I was in introducing these players. So I already introduced. Yeah, you got Zai on the uh, Skywrath Universe on the Tidehunter. He's going to be in the offlane. Slarky Malarkey is going to be played by Fear. He's going to be going into the safe lane. Meanwhile, Doom's going to be securing this bottom rune. Who screwed the top rune? Was it? Okay, and it was actually Lich securing the bounty rune, so. Is there a rune there? Haste. Okay, yeah, he was sitting on a haste rune, just waiting for the opportune moment. And I have one more play to introduce, so let's. No, I already, I already introduced PPD, so yeah, I'm all set. <laughs> uh, let's see if I'm. Oh no, okay, and uh, Brew's gonna be in the uh, safe lane, actually. Uh, I'm gonna be working straight for the dagger, I'd assume. Uh, maybe after his like, phase boots or, or brown boots, whatever. And it's actually gonna be the Morphling mid. Which he should probably do okay versus the Emmer, but with the extra support from Lich, maybe not. Um, that's actually really smart, I think, because they definitely want to shut this Morphling down as much as they can. And with the Lich uh, lingering nearby, the sacrifice is going to make Morphling's farm uh, really suffer. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of a rough start there for Morphling, but... He's still gonna manage to find some last hits, so I'd imagine. Like he's not gonna do terribly bad, and he's not really in much danger of dying. Morphling just has such great survivability. Uh, 
Probably one of the best in the whole game, but meanwhile you got Slark here leaping down on the Doom. Doom going just a little bit too far forward, but is it going to be enough? No, the right click's not going to be enough. The uh, Scorch Earth is going to be enough to save him. And uh, he doesn't have any salves though, it just tangos. Maybe we'll see if he uh, any supports decide to ferry him out or if he decides to buy a couple. I think he's going to try to save up for uh, Tranquils, but... Uh, he is playing a kind of a dangerous game here, staying in this lane like this. He's he's gonna have to stay far back so he doesn't get the leap. Uh, he doesn't get leaped on. <laughs> doesn't get the leap. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Skyrider shouldn't be too much of a problem. He doesn't have the uh, concussive shot just quite yet, but after he kills this camp, he will. But yeah, so he should be just fine right now. As long as he doesn't make any mistakes and go too far forward. Check up here on the top lane. Um, yeah, Bruce is going to be farming, I think. Oh, well, he's actually getting beat pretty bad by this Tidehunter. Uh, that Kraken shell, I imagine, doing a little bit of work. Blocking some of those last hits of uh, Brewmaster. Well, reducing the damage, anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, Tide's taking a nice leader here. And uh, 1v1 be like this. Tide's actually really good for that. With with the protection from Kraken shell. And then, um, just the anchor smash for last hitting and harass at the same time. It's just so good. Uh, and reducing the damage, which makes it a lot harder to last hit. Uh, going from 60 to 30 for, I think, what was it, 5 seconds? I just looked at 2, but... Ah, uh, 6 seconds, actually, so... That's a real pain in the ass to deal with. Uh, looks like we are going to have the uh, Earthshaker, though, coming into the middle lane, just to try to help out the Morphing a little bit. Uh, make sure he can get us farm, which really is kind of getting shut down here. Uh, only 8 last hits at the moment, compared to the 13 and 1 deny of uh, Ember. Um, and again, uh, that Lich staying in the middle lane, I really like this from uh, EG. Just denying so much XP, so much gold through uh, Morphling. Uh, yeah, if you actually can kind of see it in the level difference here, he's, uh, Ember Spirit's uh, m much closer to his next level compared to the Morphling, but there was actually a couple uh <laughs> there was almost a couple last hits actually that just get to Morphling, so he's a little bit closer. To the, it, it was a little bit closer than it looked, but. Either way, you can see like the the ba the battle plan from EG here though, and it's and I think it's working. Um, a little we we'll see the best off the bottle coming out right now, and that's pretty late bottle. Uh, honestly, Emperor getting his uh, much earlier, uh, despite the death in the early game though. So, so yeah, EG made, made making a bit of a mistake up there in the jungle, but I, I think they're doing pr decently well now. The tide's doing fantastic up here in the off lane. Well, or so I thought. Uh, <laughs> yes. I mean, he's doing pretty good. He's definitely on route for a pretty good dagger. He already has his arcanes finished, but uh, Bruce is starting to do a little bit better now. Uh, I think he just needed a couple more levels. Now he has like the level three clap, and then uh, that with, with, with the level two uh, critical strike, I think he's going to be doing uh, a little bit better. Uh, he's going to have to ferry out more regen, though, as you saw. Uh, that's going to kind of hurt him, slow him down in his. Uh, race for the dagger. So even though they are, uh, he's actually ahead in last sets, I don't think he's actually ahead in, we'll see if he's ahead in net worth. I assume he will be, but yeah, that's a little bit uh, misleading because he did, um, he did spend quite a bit on regen, so. Oh, but a nice vision coming out from uh, No Tail, actually. I think, yeah, Tide's going to go down, I think, uh, unless he can get the TP out. But is there a stun ready? Yeah, there's Malefus ready. So there's no way the tide's actually gonna get out. Beautiful Fisher blocking him off uh, from uh, escaping. Just didn't see the rotation coming in time, and that's gonna be a really nice for uh, Brew. That's gonna uh, put him back on track for his dagger. Also gonna give a level two to uh, no, I'm sorry, Shikar already had level two, I believe, but. He's uh, pretty low in levels, but that's okay because he, he's low in levels for a good cause, though, trying to help out the Morphling in the middle lane here. Who is still quite behind in comparison to the Ember? Uh, he's just getting denied from both members' right clicks and from the uh, denies from Lich. Uh, they are about equal level, but there's also a Lich that's uh, soaking a lot of the XP up. Uh, compared to the Earthshaker, who wasn't there the whole time. He's uh, kind of roaming around the map, looking to see if he can get some kills. Was successful in the top lane. Uh, we'll see if he decides to try to hit up another lane. I think it's pretty smart, though, stopping the uh, Tide. Slowing down the Dagger. Um, he 
has Tide does have the arcane though, so we should be able to farm the uh the dagger <laughs> decently fast anyway. Maybe with a couple stacks of something. A couple stacks in the jungle. There actually is a nice stack brewing down here. Uh this side you have been schooled. Curious is uh to see who get, who gets that. If it's gonna be for the ember or for the tide. Uh oh boy. Uh Skyrath's gonna get doomed up here and he's gonna have to be denied. And yeah, he's so gonna be denied brave. right there. Uh getting doomed up by the doom. Then chased all the way over here into the jungle. Or actually it might have been for the rune control. I I fucking wasn't paying attention. <laughs> but either way, um <laughs> let bygones be bygones, nothing really happened. Uh Doom is gonna be going for the Midas, I'm assuming, with that. I don't know what else he'd be getting. Early trainings in an orb of venom. That uh, kind of perplexes me right there. And shit, Tide actually went down again up here. The split coming out from Brewmaster. Rain's Sorry, I missed it. But yeah, looks like he probably got caught up by the fissure. And then uh, the Brewmaster split the rock, the uh, rock coming in, stun him. Just mass stun up here, man. Malefice, fissure, uh, the the brew split stun. And but uh, Secret's not going to give up this tower. For, I'm sorry, EG's not going to give up this tower for free. They're going to be coming in to defend it here. Uh, Brew doesn't have split, so he's in uh, heavy danger of dying here, but the Ember is also in danger of dying. He's going to have to pull back. He has no more mana. Uh, a nice Fissure coming out, stunning three, but will it be enough? I think they can get away just fine. The concussion Shot is coming in. I think they're going to have to cut their losses, though, and just leave it for uh, leave the Ember for dead. Top tower is under yeah, attack. that's really the best I can do right there. And Tide didn't even have a, a blink dagger either, and they still got it. Still was able to get a three-man ravage, so uh, very nice for him. Top tower has been I'm curious denied. about the uh, net worth now. Oh, that's current gold. Sock sitting on top. Yeah, it's actually gonna put the. Uh, Amber is going to be on top now. Getting one kill up there. Uh, maybe make that two. The silence is here, but I don't think it's going to be enough. More things is a little bit too tanky, a little bit too much armor, too much HP. Uh, and actually, a counter attack coming in. The Doom, uh, Doom's going to go off on the Ember. Uh, chased in. The Morthling's actually going to get a double kill. Not the person you want to be giving a double kill at this point in the game. There is no Ravage available, so uh, no crazy turnaround. Well, except for the one from Seeker right there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, wow, good for the Morphling. Uh, that's really going to help. Especially considering he was kind of behind in that middle lane. That's going to uh, pretty much put him right even with the Ember, though. Um, uh, I'm trying to decide if, if he's going to go for Lincolns. I think he might. No, actually, no, he's working on something here. Oh, Power Treads. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure if he's going to go for the Lincolns. Uh, this is overall a pretty good item to have. We might just decide to skip it. There's not a ton of uh, like uh, clicks on him. Just a Skyrath, which will probably just get broken from like the Arcane Bolt. And, like the only thing really worth stopping is like the Ancient Seal. So or I suppose if somehow uh, Lich messed up that bad and threw out a Chain Frost like first, but that's most likely not going to happen. So I don't even think he's going to bother going for the Lincoln Sphere. But again, I mean, we'll see. It does add like you know nice stats. Uh, and the mana regen, the HP regen, so we will see. My guess is they'll probably go for uh, some better, more agility game. Maybe a Scotty, actually, to be honest. Definitely gonna want to tank up and uh, get some more stats versus like the Slark who's gonna be trying to steal them from you. So I swear to God, this happens almost every video, man. Why do you, why do you got to do that to me, man? 20 frames per second. Whew. Whatever, I need a drink, but... Yeah, Tide's working towards that dagger now. I actually need a little bit of help to kill that stack. I believe it was stacked one time. Okay, definitely want to be getting that dagger as soon as he can. Again, it was shut down just a little bit in the top lane. He'd have it by now, but he died, uh... Got ganked two times up there, from uh, mostly from the uh, Earthshaker. So well played by No Tail here. Uh, but he's he's gonna have it a decent time, and I imagine once they get that, uh, they'll be looking to probably force a couple fights, maybe. 
maybe do a little bit of uh, smoke ganking, and take some early game towers. I mean, they don't have a fantastic pushing lineup, but I just I highly doubt they want this to go late versus this morph. Who, even though they did a pretty good job of locking him down in the uh, early game, you can't stop a morphling forever, right? You can only delay him, so you're only delaying the inevitable. So I imagine they'll be looking to push before it gets too huge. And he actually is. He did catch up pretty nicely in that last fight. So uh, currently not be, not not uh, finding a ton of farm, but if you want that, still. It's a dagger. Yeah, Ted's getting closer and closer to that dagger. He's just wandering from camp to camp Radiant's looking for the dagger. And I think I'll actually find it down here in this bottom lane. Uh, I cleared out that creep wave. You should be good to go. Uh, and actually, Brew doesn't have his dagger yet either. Uh... They go for the arcades instead of uh, phase boots, so I like that though. It's gonna be, uh, I think it's gonna give them a little bit more sustainability, uh, a little bit more like team fight potential. Always have the radiant structures are fortified. And uh, yeah, it's actually uh, gonna be Secret who's taking the first tower. Oh, I'm sorry, this is their second tower in this game. So they're actually pushing very well uh, using the Enigma. Um, so what are these called? Like demonic conversions? Dire. Under attack. <laughs> Eldon. Edelon. Eidolon. I think that's it. Eidolon. Edelon. I don't know. It's Eidolon, I think. <laughs> so yeah, using that. Uh, and uh, Brew up here, split pushing top. Getting a little bit of farm. Able to spam out the Thunderclap with the Arcanes. Doom just now finishing up that Midas. And uh yeah. So not only not only does EG have to worry about the Morphling, but they also have to worry about this Doom Ringer. Uh well decide what he starts to work towards now that he has the Midas. Now the real farming will begin, man. These greedy fucking dooms have to get their Midas. They already have Devour. <laughs> That's a little greedy from Secret, but I think it's actually a pretty good choice considering the uh advantage they have right now. I think it's really pushing it, uh, taking two towers early game, and I, I would have expected the early game to go to EG. I would have favored them just a little bit, um, but uh, alas, it is going to uh, secret, Radiance middle and tower it's only going to get worse attack. for them, I think. I mean, Brew split's going to kind of fall off at a certain point. Like, it's kind of really good in the early slash mid game, but uh, on the other hand, like, Ember without the right kind of farm and uh, Sark's gonna kind of fall off. Like they're not that great in the late game. Now versus a Morphling man, so uh, Brew kind of balances out in that respect. But uh, there's a Blink Dagger actually showing off. Uh, Ravage just for the Doom, but I think it's good, definitely gonna be worth it. Stop that Doom. Oh man, or is it because the Fissure's coming in? A nice black hole. Oh boy, they cannot be getting big black holes like that. Oh man, EG cannot be allowing those holes to go through like that. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a double kill on Doom Ringer. Uh, more things going to be uh, hasting away here. What does he have coming to him on the courier? Ogre Club. Could it be. Radiance bottom tower uh, is under attack. What the hell is the Ogre Club for? Radiance structures are I, mean, fortified. I feel like it's not for BKB, so. Saint Jinyasha? My only guess is Saint Jinyasha. Could be for BKB, I suppose. I don't know. Radiance it's just not like a very common morphling item, is all, but. I'll we'll see what he decides to do with it. Not looking for a super late game item, looking for a more like mid game item, definitely, though. Um, and I think that's actually a pretty wise choice, considering, at least I think that. Uh, EG is more likely to push in the mid game, but I gotta hold that thought though because they're actually making the jump on Kuro here. But oh my god, so tanky man, Morphling. Uh, running the wrong way there. He should have went to the right, maybe would have gotten out, but 
Another way he's going to be going down. This Sark's going to have to run for his life, though. Uh, they did pay for it with the Lich, though, so... Currently chasing into the trees for... Uh, nothing, though. And Skyrath actually went down up here as well, so... Yeah, I don't think that really... I mean, they got the Morphling, and they only lost... They lost both their supports. I think it was about a, a fairly even trade. So... Oh, I mean, I guess nothing lost, nothing gained. They kind of delay the morphling a little bit, but they give a nice little boost to everyone else. So, and that's oh, no, that's actually gonna be a pretty huge boost because it actually opens the door for uh, Secret to take Roshan. Um, although this, uh, there's really low uh, respawn timer, so uh, Secret might want to think twice about this. And yeah, they're just gonna play it safe and back up. Uh, they don't have like an armlet or anything like that, so there's really not a ton of damage. I mean, they got the, uh, God, what are they called? The uh, Eidolons, but those aren't going to do, that's that's not really going to be enough, so. Yeah, definitely some, I, I respect it, man, safe play. Fucking buzzes. Why force out big fights if they don't have to? That's what I think EG kind of wants to do, but... At this point, they're kind of falling further and further behind, and I'm not sure if they're in a very, very good position to do that, but whatever. Titan is going to be building more utility stuff, uh, going for the four staff. Definitely a good thing to have, really, in, uh, in most games versus most heroes. Uh, especially versus something like uh, Enigma, force someone out of a black hole. Just force, people out, force staff people out of danger in general. Or force ask him himself if he needs to. Maybe help him set up a uh, Ravage, whatever. Oh man. Split pushing Morphling, goodbye. Smoke coming out from uh, EG. He's gonna go down no problem with that silence coming out from uh, Skyrath. See, I almost wanted to say. Maybe he should have got the Lincolns for that reason, but I mean, it's just too e it's just too easy to break with the arcane bolt. Uh, arcane bolt's like an instant cast. So you use arcane bolt and then ancient seal right away. It's very unlikely that the Morphling could get away, even if he had like the Lincolns. So, but he's gonna actually be farming up farming up a BKB. That's definitely an item that will save his life as well. That's gonna make everything that Skyrath does uh, irrelevant. It's gonna make uh, Ravage irrelevant, and, you know, unless he gets hit by beforehand, but. Wow, huge three-man Ravage coming out, man. Uh, the split is going to be coming out, though. There was no silence on that. Skyrath is not in position for that. And uh, the split's going to come out, and it's doing a lot of damage, man. They're really turning this fight here. Uh, chasing down PBD, and the bull's going to come out. That's going to be enough to get uh, to get the Lich. Uh, Sark better watch out, though. He better get out as well. Sark and the Tide, actually. They both have TPs ready, so they should be okay. And I think this is going to open up the door for them to finish the Roshan. Uh, a nice Ravage, but there just wasn't really the follow-up that they needed. Um, they were able to take out the Enigma, but not before I got the mechanism off, which should be men noted, because, uh, you know, obviously healed up a lot of uh, HP for Secret. It allowed them to uh, really push that fight and not die, so you can see how low some of them kind of got, so... And, yeah, now... Now EG's in trouble. I mean, beautiful plays coming out from Tide. I mean, aside from those uh, early game ganks on top lane, he's been playing very well. Dyer's he's been having some very nice ravages attack. and uh, farming, uh, putting some decent farm too. But I'm just concerned, man. I just, I, I, I don't think it's enough. Like, uh, even though Slark like is second in net worth, it's just, uh, it's just, it's a Slark compared to a Morphling. Which I mean, I suppose isn't like that bad. Like it's, I think it's actually, a, you know, it's 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 pretty good ideally. But uh, I don't know, man. This morphling is just this gets too powerful later on. Even though Slog does like sap agility from him, which is kind of morphling's thing, is to have a shit ton of agility and therefore a shit ton of damage. Eventually, morphling is going to be so ridiculously like farmed and shit. It's just not going to matter. Whatever though.
simple boy. That looks like Secret wants to be aggressive. They want to spend this ages. Make it meaningful. Gonna be smoking up in the middle. <laughs> following Cheetos. Gonna be uh, smoking up in the midnight. Look at all the auras. God damn, man. And here comes here comes uh, Blink Doom onto the uh, Ember Spirit. Uh, nice Ravage coming out once again, though. And the alt from uh, Skyrath is actually gonna bring down the Brewmaster. So I'm not not uh, being able to get up the split. So that's gonna cause the. Uh, Oh, the Earthshaker actually got picked off over here, too, so... Yeah, that fight not going Secret's way. Um, kind of a reckless fight to take, to be honest. I mean, they didn't... I don't think they knew, like, all the uh, EG heroes were here, but... Uh, just deciding to blink in and Doom, the really the first thing they saw, which was the Ember, which isn't that great of a Doom target. I mean, it, I guess it kind of takes Ember out of the fight, which is a pretty important hero, but... Obviously, I think you want to try to get like the Tide Hunter to prevent that Radiant's huge Ravage from coming off, which did go off, and I believe hit uh, three three people. So, yeah, man, that 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 fight not going uh, secrets way though. Which concerns me, but I still I still think you guys are pretty huge lead. Yeah, you see it kind of went up after that fight, the, uh, that's the XP graph right there. Oh, not a good time to be looking at the graphs, I suppose. Because, uh, Secret's forcing EG out right here, out of their own dojo. But, uh, Ravage is down for another 60 seconds, so I think this is going to be pretty much a free tower. Um, that's really the only reason they won the last fight, was because of e uh, the good Ravage from Tide. And, uh, Zai, you better be careful, man, but there's that four staff in action. Uh, going to be sa potentially saving his life. I'm not sure if they actually would have chased to kill him anyway, but uh, they're going to swing top and try to pick off this uh, tier 2 tower. Uh, Ravage is down for another uh, 38 seconds, so if they can do it in that uh, that window, they should be just fine, but they can't fuck around, man. It's, it's going to be close. And I think they're just going to let it uh, fall without the ult from Tide. There's just not really much they can do, so... Top yeah, I'm just gonna let it fall, top. and I think Secret's pretty aware of this, so they're just gonna be pulling out with uh, the remainder of their troops. And, uh, is Brew gonna say to push it? I think they're actually rotating middle, trying to get a pick off. I think they knew the, uh... I think they knew that, uh, Tide was over there, but... Uh, whatever, you got the Brew up here, just doing a little bit of split pushing. Uh... I would have liked to see them just secure that tower while Ravage was down, but uh, Tide's going to be in the jungle anyways, just farming up. So, but Ravage is off cooldown, so I mean it's a little bit—it's it's definitely more dangerous. But as long as the, as long as Tide doesn't get a huge five-man Ravage, I think they'll be able to uh, come back in the fight just a-okay. So, Radiant structures are fortified. Sark's actually working towards a uh, Lincoln Sphere. Uh, definitely, I think, a good choice versus the Doombringer, so... Secret's uh, gonna have to find another way to pop that Lincoln's then. Which, actually, Doom could do himself, but... It's gonna be a little hard to do, it's gonna be a little hard to do those uh, Blink Dooms when you have to pop the Lincoln Sphere first, so... And uh, Fear's looking for something, man. He's actually going to go on S4 here, but uh, that's not going to cancel the the TP away. So that's a good thing to note, by the way, if you didn't know that. Certain, not everything cancels TP that like forces your opponent. Like Force Staff, for instance, doesn't cancel TP. So if you're chasing an enemy hero and then he TPs, and your whole team's chasing him, don't Force Staff him away. You're helping him, <laughs> potentially. You're probably helping him if, if you Force Staff him in the opposite direction. Yules does, so feel free to Yules. Well, be careful when you Yules too. Don't Yules if someone's like fucking using like black hole or something. And is this Battle Fury? Yes, it is. So there's the Battle Fury. So, uh. 
Yeah, not the worst timing. Pretty delayed, in all honesty, but... Uh, with the battle theater, he's going to be able to go and farm up the jungle pretty nicely and just secure his next big item, which would probably just be like Daedalus, I'm imagining. Just when I get the damage, usually on Ember. I don't think Ember builds vary by a ton, usually. Uh, aside from, like, sometimes you get the drums, sometimes you get a BKB, but typically you just want to build, like, a lot of damage. It's usually the reason why uh, he's picked up, so it's usually the reason why, like, how he, that's usually how he's built. And it looks like they'll be taking this uh, T2 bottom tower for free. No more T2s on the side of EG. I'm losing a lot of map control, but they didn't really have it to begin with, so... Uh, it's going to be split pushing top, but I don't think Secret's just going to let them trade take that tower for free. Uh, they're either going to lose their racks, or Secret will uh, take it back and defend it. And not looking to take racks just yet, I suppose. Going to be backing up with the Morphling. Um, there's really no need to, to, to push for racks right now. I mean, like they have an advantage, and they have a Morphling, so just keep farming, right? Uh, maybe wait around for the next Roshian. The B BKB is done on Doombringer, so I'm a little curious to see what he decides to go for next. Uh, possibly a Shiva's Guard or an AC. Maybe an AC to help out the, the uh, Morphling. I don't know. We will see. Maybe a pipe, actually. I don't think a pipe would be pretty good. Uh, a lot of magic damage on the side of uh, Evil Geniuses. Definitely help with the Skywrath, the uh, like the Lich Alt stuff like that. So we'll see what he decides to make, man. I'm sure it's got pretty much everything he needs: dagger and arcanes. <laughs> and uh, I think he's gonna be farming up that BKB. So oh, yeah, I'm really curious to see what Doom decides to make, actually. I just realized like there's no volume. <laughs> or barely any at all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that real quick. I think I had it like off because uh, I had it low because I uh, go in Ventrilo. Brew acting as a uh, aura carrier here. Giving the whole team some nice little armor. So actually, I think the Brew will probably be picking up the AC. Uh, possibly next? No, he's even picking up his BKB first, though. Uh, definitely good. You don't want to get... Uh, you don't want to get screwed with a Skyrath Silence, so... Being able to BKB and getting your split off in the fight is so essential, man, but... Uh, he's going to have to watch out for the Tide ult still. Although I don't know if they actually have the burst damage to kill him in that amount of time. Uh, Ember is a lot of burst damage, but he doesn't really have a ton of farm right now, aside from like the Battle Fury for damage, so... Yeah. I think the BKB. Very solid. And the next version is here, so... Uh, Secret's gonna be looking to take this, I think. Uh, if it's safe to do so, which currently they have uh, a shit ton of vision over here and a bunch of sentries, so they know there's no wards out. Uh, I don't know exactly what EG's plan is. I guess they're just going to let him have it if they know about it at all. And just try to farm up the uh, Tidehunter for a refresher. Uh, they, have, they will be able to burst down Brew with double refresher. That is for certain. So, Dyer's top um, tower I think they're going to try to trade Roshan, Roshan for T2. No, but I'm going to try to trade for T2. It's a little too risky, I think they're saying. Uh, I fear he's going to come in here and do a little bit of damage, but... It's, I don't think... Uh, they're not gonna be able to take this for free, just like I said before. Dyer's but. top tower is under attack. All right, well, secrets gathering up in the bottom lane, man, looking to push. <laughs> they got the ages, man. They got the morphling, and again, he's really not even that farmed, but he's still even right now. He's really scary. <laughs> and for almost like 170, uh, seven to hit. And uh, the BKB, a lot of armor, decent HP. And of course, uh, two lives. <laughs> Radiance bottom tower and going for the attack. Manta, which is very good versus like the silence from the Skyrath, stuff like that. So, 
And uh, yeah, he's gonna be uh, balls to the wall, man. Doesn't even care. Going in, taking a ton of damage, and the mechanism oh, almost stopped him from dying. Well, not dying, but popping the ages, but. Now he has to be really careful though, because now there's no ages. Uh, there's also no Skyroth ult for another 25 seconds, but there's still double or almost double ravage. Just one ravage at, at the moment though. Dyer's so, top tower is under attack. but they don't Radiant's necessarily have to go all the way over here attack. to uh, force out a fight fortified. or anything like that. Um, oh boy, and here Kara comes in and the uh, blink from uh, tied into the Ravage, but it's not going to be enough. They did. Oh, I'm sorry, actually, they did bring down the Morphling, uh, losing only the Skyroth in the process, but a nice ult coming out from Earthshaker to kind of counter that a little bit. And uh, Secret's actually going to be on the, uh, the lamb here for just a second. Yeah, without the Morphling, they're not going to want to turn around and fight. Morphling's uh, Aegis was kind of, uh, I want to say, wasted before. Uh, just kind of uh, blew on nothing really, but whatever. They did lose the Morphling, but they did a little bit of damage to the tower, and uh, they'll be back. <laughs> uh, EGA should probably take advantage of this opportunity, though. Maybe try to take like the middle lane or something like that. Uh, take something, do something with it. Um, at the very least, finish off the Tide Hunters. Uh, re <coughs> refresher or is mine. Illusion. And Ember's actually going to be in a little bit of trouble down here. Doom. The Doom coming out. And oh my god, he's so squishy. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Glass cannon is what he is. Oh, and it's actually an Ags from Doom. Oh boy, yeah. So that's going to basically force out like Slark or, or someone out of the fight. Doom now becomes like a really, uh, tch. he's really like a priority target now. Because you can't have him sticking around, uh, Making that doom last infinitely, so gonna have to uh, get him out of the fight. And you really can't stop him from getting at least getting off the doom. So Radiance bottom tower is under and, attack. Uh, actually, not Radiance deciding to uh, go for a f or finish off the manta, going straight for a Scotty attack. now. I uh, just getting the Yash for the bonus movement speed, bonus agility, but Dyer's doesn't really see the point for a Manta, fallen. I guess. Suppose I think Scotty's better. That's what I I assumed he was going straight for Scotty from the beginning, but uh, and again, uh, there is actually a Ravage up now, so he's just looking for an opportune moment. But he's not really going to find a great one. Like a BKB has already popped on Doom. Uh, yeah, there's just oh, there's just fuck all that EG can really do. Uh, there goes the Ravage. D uh, not that great. Only hit him with the Morphling and uh, a couple storms. Th the storm panda there. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not a ton they can do. Morphling, BKB. He is gonna go down, I think. Oh man, he strength Morphling. Is he gonna go down? Oh my God, this hero. I hate this hero. <laughs> Oh boy, this is just yeah, this is just disaster here for VG now. Uh, the Ember gonna be going down now to follow. Slark's dead. The Lich is dead. Is a team wipe. Oh, okay, so where's the GGs, boys? <laughs> oh man, Morphling is a good hero. And uh, if EG was behind uh, before. They're just, they're just fucking screwed now, cause more now Morphling has Scotty. <laughs> middle tower is under attack. Followed up with like a butterfly or something. I don't know. Maybe double Scotty, double the stats. I've heard about that before. I don't know. It seems kind of like. Why would you get two right? But I don't know. Even Urchinger has had 2,400 gold with blow. Middle tower has and middle lane's gonna be going Radiant's down now. Middle barracks are under but attack. I say, stay it, stay. Stick it out to the Radiant's bitter end, man. Has <laughs> but I guess EG's not going to stick Radiant's to the bitter end. Uh, has call on GG now. And uh, yeah, there's just oh, really no way they can win this at this point. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty cool game to watch. Uh, not going the way of EG, though. I mean, I would have thought they would have somewhat of an advantage in the earlier game. But uh, yeah, not doing too great. They did get that uh, kill in the very beginning. Um, oh no, no, I'm sorry. It was actually yeah, it was Secret who got the kill on uh, Ember in the like in the jungle for, for first blood. So yeah, right out of the gate they were kind of I don't know, I don't know, man. I just not the most solid play I'd I'd say, but 
Either way, it was a great game, though, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'm going to cast game three sometime, but it's, it's 4 a.m. right now, so I'm going to bed. Anyway, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video.